Today we're going to talk about chain tension. On this particular example, we have a loose chain. Chain tension is critical to the performance of cutting systems, and you don't want your chain either too tight or too loose. The first thing to do when checking tension is to locate your chain tension adjustment points. On this particular saw, you can see it's right here on the side cover. Let's talk about the other locations that they can be in. On this particular saw, you'll notice that the chain adjustment is here on the front of the saw. Another pretty typical type is the type that has it integral to the side cover itself. So you have to loosen the side cover and the outer ring for tensioning. Now let's go back to our first saw. The first step in chain tension is to loosen the stud nuts. Then with your scrunch, locate the tensioning pin, lift up the nose of the bar, adjust your tension until the chassis of the chain comes in contact with the guide bar rails. On a sprocket nose bar, you want the chain to be what we call snap tight. That simply means you're gonna give the tensioner another quarter to a half turn. Tension your stud nuts. Check your chain tension by pulling the chain out of the bar rails and releasing, and the chain should snap directly back into position. If your tension is correct, you can grab your scrunch and pull the chain around the bar. It needs to flow smoothly. If all that's done, you're, you're good to go back to work. Now for further details, please visit OregonProducts.com.